next up we have uh, Paul Waite of the Department of Education. Paul worked in business for many years and left, then left to become a mature student, uh, culminating in entry to the teaching profession. Between careers, he taught TEPL to teenagers and hustle to adult refugees and asylum seekers. He is now in his fourth year of teaching and is key stage in the English Training School. Hey, David, this is the founders of the I've tried it out earlier, I can never get an answer to this, so I'm happy to go anyway. Uh, have fun, engage students, students are engaged generally if they're having more fun, particularly if they perceive the rules of the events that it's all hence the uh, family song program. Four simple activities I've used in class to engage students sometimes they're the rules. Loki is really good, and I said on the website you can go onto the site and cut and paste text of introduction to a lesson and Andy, click on it, thank you sir. And you can create your own Loki. You can add cheeky jokes as you see I've done in a second, you can personalise it, talk about students as they're coming in. They really tend to like it, and as it comes up, sir, it was much quicker when I did it on my PC. It's going to come now, I might have put it a bit short, but if you click on play, you can click on play, here we go. Evening, ladies and gentlemen. Snowman here. How did Santa greet his three gardening friends? Oh, oh, oh. Where did my first teacher meet here at Cheney? Now, 1980s car combo madness once sang. All we learned at school was how to bend, not break the rules. And, snow joke, if it thinks something naughty is happening, that rules are being bent a little. They are instantly engaged. So why not use it? Or my Thank you very much. Okay, so you get the idea. That's, uh, that's one idea. Uh, main activity. Uh, this tends to work well. I've used this a number of times. It's a framework and you can dress up a lesson. Really nice. Have the music plan, they come in. Mission impossible. Get them to stand around uh, carousel type activities. So you get them to stand around challenges, around the walls. Uh, it can be anything. I mean, I'm an English teacher, it can be math problems or whatever. You say three minutes per task. You set a bomb timer available online classroom tools. Bomb timer's going. They've got three minutes, they'll go bang, bang, bang. Uh, I'll quickly go to, here's an example of a challenge that I had for a low level year 10 uh, group. I went across the red circus, that's boring, how can you improve it? And that's what they came up with, they told me what was wrong with it, and then they showed me how they could improve it. That's an example, it works really well, you can use it for revision, etc. Fair assessment, fair assessment, some students get really bored, shh, here come the sentence leads. They really like this. Uh, using my creative writers, and they get the books, they look at each other's work, they steal a sentence, and then they tell them why they like it. Really interesting, you can create displays from it and you can get them to use their own creative writing piece afterwards based on their uh, stolen sentence. Finally, homework. Homework, uh, post try scale, uh, this worked really well around the school. So you can compete to development, people are asked to go out around the school, you can see the artwork, do poetry, whatever, and away they go, they create their own piece of poetry. Here's an example, uh, Cheney, uh, 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 one uh, from my previous creative writing class poetry stream, it's on paper. There's a math block, there's your. Anyway, so four ways, uh, really fun, uh, side of the rules, thank you.